But now there is a time A torture less sublime Thank you for coming along. You're very welcome to a very special and unique event. We're going to meet the four modern spirits we're going to talk to tonight. <laughs> You've done these incredible things, these incredible adventures that involve a lot of courage and energy. Tell us a little bit about that adventure. I saw these pictures of people racing across the Arctic and thought, well, I'd love to. I mean, I'd love to be that person in that picture, um, but I don't think I could ever, ever do that. Because the icefall uh, is an incredibly dangerous place. Uh, there are huge blocks of ice that can just peel away from the mountainside and fall, and there were deaths on Everest when I was there. And I got very emotional on, on the way to the summit, so much so that I had tears in my eyes. Thank you. I'm talking to you next, you just do cooking, so you better come up with something impressive to follow <laughs> this. Um, Spanish cooking this just changes your life, doesn't it? This is Yeah, amazing. to walk into a kitchen knowing what you know and completely walk in and be knocked off your feet by what was being produced in the kitchen and not really understanding why was quite surreal. Chefs have a big duty in that role of teaching people about food, you know, food products, where it comes yeah. from, you know, it's that whole thing, I think, of everybody re being re-educated in their duties yeah. to, to, to the eco-climate. What was your last project? And my last project was the, the five series Gran Turismo. This is um, a, a new um, car concept, a new vehicle concept. The first inspiration for this car was doing a business jet for the road somehow. We have a really big, roomy interior. We have a lot of space in the, in the back, uh, back area of the car, and yeah, this was very stunning to do this car. Is it, is it emotional? The car design itself is emotional from the beginning on, because we try to, to put emotions um, into an object, into surfaces, and uh, I think car design is somehow um, emotions uh, stamped in sheet metal. Christopher Wilde. You were hearing other sounds and thinking they can be used in a, in a musical way. Yeah. When I was working on this um, commercial for the, oh, okay. for the other car company, yeah. we were each given the sounds of a car engine and said, do you think yeah. you can replicate that with singers? Yeah. Oh. So I went into the studio with, with some singers and we worked out the pitches and, and made this engine sound like an engine. Went back and whenever I got the job, they said, fantastic, we really like what you've done. Then they went off to record the actual car, which was a Honda. And... <laughs> So I went off, did the whole process again with the choir, came back and played them the sound of the engine, and they said, it doesn't really sound as good as the first engine. And I said, well, unfortunately, that sounds like a Honda engine. The other one was a BMW engine. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a demonstration, ladies? <laughs> Would you like a demonstration? Fantastic. I've met so many interesting people. All of us seem to have the same sort of vision in our, in our creations. So looking at that car was, you know, it's beautiful. I'm very happy. Thank you very much. I'll take it. It's a fantastic new car. I actually love the trunk. See? There you go. All these gadgets, easy to use. I'm liking it. I'm sold. It's unbelievable. People are so amazed by the car, they like the concept. A dream is coming through somehow. 